Can you believe the only cup we've ever won was way back in 66? The beautiful game that we created just put the ball between the sticks. Three lions proudly roar on the front of every English player's chest. A nation screaming at their TVs, dig that one out from the back of the net. Such a beautiful game, and I know it's gonna be a lucky day. Oh, the sun's gonna shine and it ain't gonna rain. Oh, we've done it once before and we can do it again. Such a beautiful game. Thank you. Yeah. Warren seems to be a hit with Julie Meyer, but can his World Cup dream convince the Dragons to part with their cash? Warren, I'm Julie. Hello, Julie. £25,000 of investment. Was it 25% of the profits? 20% of all profits um, generated from uh, the single. Um, merchandise yeah. um, mm -hmm. and a 10 track album which would be launched off the back of the single. Okay, and you've, you've had some successful hits before? I haven't had successful chart hits, no. Um, I've had success um, in competitions mm -hmm. um, and I have interest from uh, Cherry Red Records in publishing this particular song. Are you willing to kind of do tours and get out Absolutely. there for, yeah, I yeah, love to playing. promote it? Um, I love playing. Because that's the way people make money in music these days. The rest of it kind of gets downloaded for free and so yeah. forth, and you can't count yeah. on the merchant, OK? I mean, as a one-man operation, I'm fairly cheap to keep. Uh -huh. um. <laughs> Warren's off to a positive start with Julie Meyer, but Shaf Razul wants to know what he'll get for his money. Hi, Warren. I'm Hi. Shaf. Hi, Shaf. First of all, are we investing in a business or are we investing in a song? You're investing in me, I think. 20% of me. 20% of you? Yeah. How did you come to a valuation of £125,000 for that business? Well, I was looking, I've been looking at the um, sales of other world, good World Cup songs. There's been some real stinkers, but the good World Cup songs. Uh, Three Lions sold two, uh, 238,000 copies um, in its first week. So, first year of trading, I'm looking at 150,000 sales, a mixture of retail and wholesale. Um, and that's where my valuations come from. Okay. What, aside from, obviously, the song, what will you be contributing to making the whole venture successful? Will you be contributing any funds? I'll, I'll con contribute, yeah. Well, yeah, how much? Like... For every £25,000 we put in, how much will you be putting in? I've, I've, at, the, at this stage, um, in terms of um, studio demos, I've put about um, £2,500 in, but I'd be happy to put in another five, £6,000 that's available at the moment um, to try and get this moving. You're expecting us to put in £25,000 into this venture. Mm -hmm. Of your own money, you're only wi willing to risk 5000 No, no, that's the money that's available at the moment. I mean, I will, I'll be prepared to invest further money. How much? I'd match your figure. This is a shrewd move by Warren. His self-belief has clearly struck a chord with the Dragons. I'm quite impressed with the fact that you're willing to match us pound for pound. I'm confident I want it that much. But Warren still has a long way to go to get an investment, and now Julie Meyer needs to know if she can bank on the entertainer. How much uh, revenue have you earned um, off of your songwriting over the past decade? Well, I enjoy working live. I said you like playing live, and most of my stuff is done busking. So I've had money from the public. I mm -hmm. um, haven't made any income from um, songwriting um, per se, as in, in terms of record sales. But um, the material that I, I have written has always been very well received by the public. Mm -hmm. How did you get Cherry Records to the table? Um, I wanted to touch it around just to see if there was any interest. Um, because I, I'm confident in the song, I'm quite proud of the song, but I wanted some confirmation. Mm -hmm. um, f friends like it, but I wanted some industry um, confirmation. How many other people will be launching World Cup songs at the same time? Five. Five? Yeah. I presume the bulk of these will be from successful artists. Could be. I think sometimes that's not a good thing. Um, sometimes successful artists get, uh, get a bit lazy and see it as a, an easy opportunity, um, a big event like the World Cup. Um, I think I wrote this song uh, with integrity and passion, and I think it stands out for that. But this is a sort of really a David and Goliath thing, isn't it, here? I'd say the English like the underdog. They always do. They really do? do they? Okay. Yeah, they do. Warren's underdog status won't necessarily win him any favours in the online den. In a frank exchange, he's admitted a failure to capitalise on his music. 
this could cost him dear. Julie Meyer has come to a decision. Warren, I like your song. Thank you. Yeah. So I'd like, I'd like to make you a deal, but it has some kind of, mm -hmm. it has a shape to it that I'll walk you through here. Because I've made music investments before. Yeah, yeah. And so I know, I know about that side of it. You know about making great mm -hmm. music, and so that's why I think that together we could, we could work together. But I'd like fifty-one percent of the company okay, yeah. for the twenty-five. K investment with you investing 25k. Could I ask where the 51% comes from? Um, I want to be in the driver's seat. You want to be driving, okay. If your goal is, mm -hmm. if your goal is to make money out of that tune yeah. next year, I think I can make some introductions to people who will want to work with you to take the show on the road. I've done a lot with businesses that help take artists to market. Mm -hmm. So I'd want to work with some of those companies. Okay. And so I can see ways of helping you get more bang for the buck yeah. and leveraging it. Yeah. And that's my deal to you. 51%. Okay. Julie Meyer has offered the full amount of investment, but it comes at a high price. She wants more than half the company and full control in return. Will her rival Dragon better her offer? In all honesty, I think this is a very high-risk investment. I would probably want more than 51%. Okay. On that basis, I think I'm out. OK. Warren's only hope of investment rests with Julie Meyer. Can he negotiate a better deal? Is there any room for manoeuvre on the 51%? 45 you see, I could have asked for more. You could have, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think if you had a track record of commercializing mm -hmm. your music, I'd be open to it. But without that, I don't want to waste time. We don't have the time to kind of go down blind alleys. I want to be no, in the no, driver's no, okay. seat. Well, on that basis, I'll accept the deal. I'm very pleased to accept the deal. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'll shut your hand. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. Thanks. Good job. Warren has done it. He's got the money he came for, and he leaves with the contacts and expertise of Julie Meyer. He'll see success. He'll like success. He'll want more success. I caught up with Warren straight after his deal in the online den. Congratulations. You. How are you feeling? It's pretty <laughs> obvious how you're know. feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, be honest. Were you expecting that one? I was hoping, I was really hoping. Um, it was a little bit more than I expected, but um, in terms of 51%, but uh, yeah. I'm, you know, chuffed a bit. Our next raw pitch was sent in by Gavin Watson from Doncaster. I'm managing director of Silverwood Media. I'm looking to produce a huge range of health and fitness information, uh, producing it, getting it put onto DVDs uh, for people to use in their home. Hang on a sec, Gavin is pitching a fitness and lifestyle DVD sat in a car. Uh, I'm in discussions at the moment with a, a, a couple more um, TV sort of personalities uh, to present future uh, DVDs, but also with some TV celebrity chefs. That's good. Gavin's approached top celebs and top chefs to present his DVDs. Who are they then? They get fitness workouts, but with the TV celebrity chefs, what they also get is meal plan information. But who are they? I'm just in discussions with, you know, sort of various people in the States, Australia, uh, Spain, Serbia. No one likes the name dropper, Gavin, but on this occasion, it may have just helped your pitch. I look very much forward to hearing from somebody in the, in the near future, and uh, thank you for your time. That's the last of the raw pitches. But for singer Warren Cole, his story didn't end in the online den. Well, on that basis, I'll accept the deal. I'm very pleased to accept the deal. Julie has proven to be a really driven, single-minded person. Because the World Cup is in 2010, summer of 2010, we've got a long leading time, so we're trying to use that time to raise my profile. And we're talking to a fairly high-profile manager to see what he might be able to bring to the project. So, that's the end of the show. But don't forget, Dragon's Den Online is open for business 24-7. If you want investment for your ideas, then visit the website bbc.co.uk slash Dragon's Den. Remember, you can ask for investment of anything up to £50,000. There is a world of opportunity out there, and it's just a click away.